Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the idea behind the one hot encoder and how we can code it in Python. Let's start coding. So here is my code editor, Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to close this welcome page. I'm going to open the Explorer and I'm going to create a new file named one hot, let's say with lowercase letters, encoder.ipmd. And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my kernel and then I'm going to create a markdown as one hot encoder. And let's talk about one hot encoder. One hot encoding is a technique used to convert categorical data into a binary zeros and ones format, where each unique category in a feature is represented by a separate binary column. This process is crucial in machine learning as algorithms typically require numerical input and one hot encoding allows categorical variables to be converted into a numerical format that the model can interpret. Also, I'm going to be covering label encoder in the next or the previous videos. You can check that encoding type too. So, what we are going to have at the end is, let's say that you have a column like, let's say color, and you have orange, red, and blue. And now with the one hot encoding, what we are going to create is we are going to create is orange and is red and is blue. So now when something is orange, this is going to take the value of one and others is going to take zero because it's not red and it's not blue. Same applies for red. So it's going to be zero in here, one in here and zero in here. And then at the blue side, we will have zero, zero and one. So we are going to learn how we can do this using Python. And we are going to do this with both using libraries and without libraries. So we are using this for using our data in machine learning models. So if you want to use categorical data, we need to change them in numeric format. Okay. And this is a way also. I'm going to assume if this thing a uh, blue or not. So in here, let's talk about this. I don't need this is blue column because I have three unique columns like these here. And if is orange is zero and is red is zero, I'm hundred percent sure that is blue is one because I have three unique values in here. And let's do same example for let's say is red. So I don't, I'm going to be talking about this one in here. I'm going to be checking if this thing a red or not. So I'm going to drop this to two columns. I can understand it's red. I can understand it's orange and I can understand it's blue like this. So we don't need new columns for each one. We just need n minus one amount of columns and n is going to be the unique value count in the column. Okay. Let's create a data set that we can apply one hot encoding. So for that, I will say import pandas as PD, and then I'm going to create my data dictionary. And I will say color, let's say red, blue, green, blue, and red. And also let's add something like size, and that's going to be small, medium, large, medium, and small, and we will say price. And that's going to be 10, 20, 15, 20, 10. Okay, so we can create a data frame of this, like data frame is going to be pandas data frame. We will pass the data in here, and I can call data. We are going to have this kind of data frame. So color and size are the categorical features that we might want to one hot encode. So pandas provides a method for this, which is called get dummies. This function automatically converts categorical columns into one hot encoded columns. So let's use that. I will say data frame encoded and I will use pandas dot get dummies and I will pass my data frame. I will pass my columns to one hot encode color and size. Also C needs to be uppercase. And also next, I will say, make this run and I will call data frame encoded. 
and now we get trues and falses in here and if we want to get integers from this we can say data frame encoded new and it's going to be pandas get dummies again this time data frame columns everything is going to be same but this time we are going to change a thing we will say s type integer so i will call data frame encoded new and let's talk about them one by one in here i'm going to look the origin of data frame too the first one's color is red so in here color red is true and the others are false and size is small so size small is true others are false also let's check for this one we can see that color is green so color green is true in the second index this one and size large is true since its size is large so in here what's different with df encoded and df encoded nil we have ones instead of trues zeros instead of falses now with pandas we have get dummies method and now i'm going to show you how we can do this without using pandas get dummies method so i'm going to call the colors like colors are going to be let me directly copy red blue i'm going to copy the list like this and at the sizes side we are going to have the same size so i'm going to copy that quickly and in here i'm going to go step by step in this application i will say unique colors and it's going to be list and we are going to use set object here so set only takes the unique values and if we call unique colors we can see blue green red also we will do the same for the unique size and it's going to be list set and sizes like this and i can call unique size actually sizes like this and we can see large medium and small so now i'm going to do encoded data and i'm going to create an empty list then i'm going to create a for loop like for color and size in zip colors and size Firstly, we are going to encode the color, like we will say color encoded is going to be one if color else zero for you see in unique colors. And by the way, I used you see for the unique color. And now I'm going to say size encoded is going to be one if size unique size else zero for unique size and unique sizes and next i will combine the encoded features like encoded data the list we have append and i will say color encoded plus size encoded and we can print encoded data we have like this and we have combinations and let's just print them like for row in encoded data print row and we can see that we have the encoded data so i'm going to call let me quickly call data frame encoded new for comparing with the thing that we create and we can see that from here we need to look from here so i will say i log and i'm going to say in the columns i'm going to take from index one like the from this one so i will say this and now we have six columns and let's quickly check by i 001001 001, yes same and check the last one 001001 100 100 so they are same so we also did the same operation without using any kind of library so let's summarize what we did in this video i first to show you how the one hot encoding works like we transform categorical features into zeros and ones and this is the small overview like if the color is orange is orange going to be one others are going to be zero and next we created a pandas data frame to work with and then we used get dummies method for getting the encoded features 
and next also I want to show you something that let's say in the data frame I will call data frame encoded without extras I'm going to say this and I'm going to copy the exact same code but now I'm going to specify something like drop first is going to be true and when I call data frame encoded not without extras we are going to have this also we can do let's say s type integer and I'm going to make this run so we are going to have zeros and ones and now instead of six columns we have four columns and this is the thing that I was talking about in here so for understanding something is blue we don't need blue one actually if we know orange and red is zero then blue is 100% one and now with saying drop first equals the true we are dropping this is blue in here also same applies for the size like let's come to here to the thing that we created and we can see that in here size medium and size small are zero which means that size large is going to be 100 percent one and our size in here is large so i also showed you drop first true then we talked about how we can turn them into integers and i showed you how we can do the same operation without libraries in here we define two lists as colors and sizes then we used set and for taking the unique ones and we turn them into lists then we say the same for the unique sizes we created an empty list we created a for loop here we encode color here we encode size then we append them together and we print them thanks for watching this machine learning tutorial i have a machine learning playlist where i have more than 40 videos just like this one you can reach that video from the cards of this video also i'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this have a great day